and had been voted best disco in the world by American Billboard magazine. Basically, about what, 77, you started getting loads of sightseeing knobheadies turning up. And they were paying money to get in, so the promoters were quite happy in that. And certain DJs became lazy. They found they didn't have to dig for special tunes anymore. They could just play anything with a dancey beat, and these idiots would dance to it, you know, and think they were part of the northern scene. And the music quality went way downhill. The scene had been infiltrated, um, and it, it just wasn't pure anymore. It just wasn't what we'd all been there for. It was shite. It was fucking shite. The uh, Hawaii Five O and the theme for the fantastic plastic flying machine, which they covered up as jealousy for ages. And oh, wait a minute, and all that. They were atrocious. But it wasn't just the music that was spoiling the fun at Wigan. People got more and more into drugs, and the music got shit. Strychnine blues. They used to turn your shit white. Right, used to crap white. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the technical term for that is, but that's your crap used to come out white. Where you all used to freak me out. But you take two one week, yeah, and you'd have a good time. So you think, right, this week I'll take four. But they changed the strength, you know. The homemade stuff first came in. I mind there was an all nighter in Wakefield, and there was like eight or nine folk dead in the morning. And my mate Bruce, I watched him die, and it was a bit. <laughs> Sorry, a bit sad. <laughs> One point, it was like a death every two weeks of somebody that we knew. So that brought about the end of the good punter going to another all-nighter, which was bringing about the end of the Wigan era. As concern about deaths on the northern scene grew, the police were determined to crack down on drugs. I was the last one to get arrested. They also arrested my mate that had done these chemists with, and uh, there were 33 in the dock. In 81, the casino was shut down. When it did close, it was sad. Everybody ripped a piece of the ceiling off or a bit wallpaper, thinking, that, well, this is the last one. But Northern Soul refuses to die. This goes on and on and on, 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 this kind of music. 